Well, Alabama lawmakers are closer to passing a new congressional map. But Democrats warn the Republican proposals made so far won't pass muster in the courts. The U.S. Supreme Court ordered the state to redraw its congressional map because the current boundaries dilute the black vote. There is currently only one majority black district in the state. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis is live from the State House right now to tell us more about the maps currently being considered. Aaron? Well, Val, the maps that were passed out of both chambers today are different. So now Republicans, being the majority party, have to pick which map that they prefer. And Democrats say that they're just waiting for these maps to end up in the court again. The community of interest map passed by representatives has under 50% of black voting age population in the second district and barely over 50% in District 7. We've drawn a district that provides an opportunity for the minorities to elect a candidate of their choosing while complying with other sections of the Voting Rights Act and not racially gerrymandering this state. Nearly every House Democrat spoke against the map. You all have basically dropped the F-bomb on the United States Supreme Court. People in the Black Belt, including Lowndes and Dallas, have more in common with people in Mobile than they do in Henry County. Uh, Alabama is proven to be, continuing to be uh, a very racist state. In the upper chamber, Republican senators plan to pass a different map. The Livingston plan has districts where black voters represent 38% and 50% of the population. While well, some have asserted that the Voting Rights Act requires that two of Alabama districts be composed of majority black that's not the case. The voting rights requires that the state's traditional principles be applied fairly across the state. Senate Democrats say in this case, race does matter. Because diversity makes our state what it is. It's the diversity in our state that keeps us moving. It's the diversity in our state that helps us grow. And with a Republican supermajority, Republicans are able to pass a map that they prefer, but many members of the party are unwilling or unavailable to comment, so we're unsure on which map they will choose come Friday. Val? All right. Thanks a lot, Erin. We will wait and see.